The U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command AFSOC has introduced a new and versatile addition to its fleet of special operations aircraft, the OA-1K Skyraider II. Based on the air tractor at 802U, this light attack and reconnaissance platform is a reimagining of a classic concept, designed to support critical missions in low-threat environments with superior flexibility and cost efficiency. The Skyraider II was developed under the U.S. Special Operations Command's SOCOM Armed Overwatch Program, which seeks to provide persistent close air support (CAS), intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance (ISR) capabilities in areas where advanced high-cost jets may not be necessary. Drawing inspiration from the iconic A-1 Skyraider, a stalwart of U.S. military operations during the Cold War and Vietnam War, the Skyraider II combines the ruggedness and endurance of the past with cutting-edge modifications for modern operational needs. The Skyraider II takes its base from the AT-802, an agricultural aircraft originally built for firefighting and crop dusting. L-3 Harris has transformed this platform into a militarized version with advanced sensors, weapon systems, and improved survivability features. The design allows the aircraft to carry a range of precision-guided munitions, such as AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and laser-guided bombs, giving it a robust ability to support both ISR and strike missions. Its modular nature allows for rapid reconfiguration, meaning it can adapt to various mission profiles ranging from close air support to special reconnaissance. AFSOC's commander, Lt. Gen. Michael Conley, emphasized the aircraft's adaptability and swift deployment capabilities, noting that the OA-1K can be disassembled and transported in a C-17 cargo plane. Once on the ground, it can be reassembled in a mere 24 hours, ensuring that it can quickly respond to evolving operational demands. This flexibility makes it an ideal choice for special operations forces operating in remote or austere environments. While the OA-1K Skyraider II is not intended to replace high-performance jet fighters in combat, it fills an essential gap in operations where agility, loiter time, and low operational costs are prioritized. Brig General Craig Prather, AFSOC's Director of Strategic Plans, clarified that while the Skyraider II isn't designed for engagements with advanced enemy fighters, it is incredibly effective in lower threat scenarios. Its long endurance and ability to hover over areas for extended periods make it perfect for providing close support for ground forces, especially in regions where maintaining a presence in the air is vital but costly jets aren't necessary. The aircraft's capabilities don't end at air support. Its integrated ISR features such as electro-optical and infrared sensors also make it a valuable tool for intelligence gathering. This blend of functions allows the Skyraider 2 to conduct extended surveillance assist with tactical operations and support counterinsurgency efforts all within the same airframe. One of the key advantages of the Skyraider 2 is its cost-effectiveness. Operating at a fraction of the cost of more advanced jets, the OA-1K provides an affordable yet reliable alternative for special operations forces and military units in need of persistent air support. Its design minimizes maintenance needs while ensuring it remains operational for long periods. Additionally, its ability to operate from short, unimproved airstrips enhances its versatility, allowing it to be deployed in a variety of environments, whether in the mountains of Afghanistan or on the plains of Africa. L-3 Harris has also ensured that the OA-1K is prepared for global deployment. The aircraft can be broken down and quickly transported within AC-17, making it a highly mobile platform that can be rapidly deployed to crisis zones with minimal logistical overhead. The aircraft's export potential is significant as well, with 22 foreign buyers already approved, and more countries under consideration for future acquisition. The Skyraider II is poised to enhance the U.S. military's operational flexibility and fill the gap left by retiring aircraft such as the A-10 Thunderbolt II, long known for its role in close air support missions. While the A-10 has been a cornerstone of U.S. CAS operations, its high-maintenance demands and vulnerability in contested airspace have led to discussions about its eventual phase-out. The OA-1K, with its lower operational costs and superior flexibility, provides an alternative that can complement other platforms in non-peer conflict environments. Looking to the future, the OA-1K could see expanded roles in electronic warfare, signals intelligence, and even combat search and rescue missions. The aircraft's rugged construction and ability to operate from less developed airstrips further enhance its potential to be used in a variety of crisis response and peacekeeping operations. In conclusion, the OA-1K Skyraider II marks an important step forward for the U.S. military, combining historical design principles with modern technology to meet the demands of contemporary warfare. 
with its balance of affordability, adaptability, and operational endurance, it's set to become an invaluable asset for special operations forces and could even inspire future generations of light attack and surveillance aircraft.